This kind, this name means visual catch, is designed to visualize SAPI data. Before we build this car, we've tried using BI tool like Tableau to display SAPI data, and found it cannot reveal information according to SAPI statement structure. And also, if we let users build or customize their charts since they aren't SAPI experts and they don't design statements, very possible the charts will be primitive types like number counting. If you like to try this car, this document here has all important information you need. Here is a short tool to demo the design thinking behind this car. Really optimized database should be designed according to use cases and user roles. Entering through demo version, in this version, there's no filter setting or role-based dashboard or correlation setting, etc. Okay, right after logging in, you have a top view dashboard of event counts on calendar and timeline, also top summary. Overview, that's instructors capture learners' engagement and performance at a glance. What activities have more engagement? When did they happen? Each student's time spent on each type of activity is visualized by heat map. Individual's preference can be pre observed here. Instructors might want to pay attention to those who have assessment scores going down. If their time span is very low, instructors might need to enhance their engagement. If their time span is high, that means they might have difficulty and need help. Instructor might want to find out did they ask questions in contents or on forum, and so on. Here you find four basic activity types. They are like building blocks here. There might be interlinks between them. For example, videos or practices embedded in ebooks or practice quizzes embedded in videos. In SAP statements, we can use context parent to indicate the structural relation. So it's leverage in our database to en enable drilling down data, make exploring data very intuitive. Activity type modules give you activity-oriented data summary. For example, entering video, first you get a summary chart about when, what videos are used, for how long. This is aggregated view. With filter setting, instructors can check individual summary. The same. Entering ebook module. First, you get the same summary chart. In this demo case, there's only one ebook used. By the way, ebook module can be used to display page turning type activity, such as mobile apps or PDF readers. On top, you see summary numbers, then this is to show what happens on each page, drill down to see by whom and the results. For example, the highlighted contents. Or you could check out the database for practice quiz embedded on this page. In assessment, which could be traditional CMI interaction, or observation checklists. The basic components are evaluation items, score of each item, and total score. And SAP allows to um, record time span on each and total. Show grades is to show stats and trend on all assessments selected. Entering a specific assessment you see each learner's score and time span are visualized with benchmark on the bar. And completion time, pass or fail, recommended questions to review. Scroll down, there are histograms to display the distribution, hover to see learner's name, and correct incorrect answer counts for each item. If you like to look into detailed item analysis, here you get each item's type, correction rates, 
discrimination, other metadata, and the heat map encoding with SAPI data.